So now that you're a Bitmoji master, we're going to make our Schoology even more interactive by adding banners and buttons. And I'm sure you've seen the Schoology opening page that has the welcome banner on it and then some um, interactive buttons that lead to digital content. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to make something that looks like this. Um, and the first thing we have to do is open up a doc, a new doc. And we're going to make all of this thing, those things within a table. The banners and the buttons are going to be within the table. So we're going to go ahead and insert table. And my table is going to have five buttons that go across. So I need five columns. And I'm going to use three rows here. So if you look at, this is a row, those two larger, um, or I'm sorry, smaller banners above, the large banner in the middle, and then the three buttons. So it's got those three rows, and then I need those five columns for my five buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that middle row, right click it, and I'm going to merge all those cells so that it becomes one because that's where I'm going to put that large banner with my name on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go here are some banners. Those are shared with you so that you can use them and you can create in them. Also, all you have to do is make a copy of the entire presentation and you can start to create uh, ba these banners. They are resized, so this is not the normal size of a Google slide, so um, this will be a good place to start for your creation. So I just want to create a welcome image. So I am going to do a Google image search and I'm just going to put school background. You can kind of look for about any kind of background they have good so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna use this one just the very first one I see and I'm gonna make that the background to my Google slide then I'm gonna insert some word art here just because it's a little bigger a little fancier and I'm just gonna put Mrs. Crofts class oops not a capital L class and then enter and then I can just move this up here to the top and I can fill in the coloring the way I want it. I think I'll go with a nice blue. And then of course, so you're gonna to wanna to use one of your newly created Bitmojis, right? So, whoops, I must not be signed in. All right, now I can go back to, whoops, not here, right here, <laughs> and use my Bitmojis. Yes, it's right there because it's a recent one that I've used. So I'm going to drag that there and make it just a little bit smaller, resize it, bring it more towards the middle. So that's going to be my opening banner. <clears throat> to get it into my table, all I have to do is highlight that slide, turn yellow all the way around. You're going to copy, control C. And then you're just going to control B to paste it right in there. Paste it on link. There's really nothing linked to it anyway, but... There we go. Um, it's now it's not linked to the other slides that were with it. So I'm going to do the same thing up here at the top. I'm going to merge these cells. I'm going to merge the first three and then the final two to put those two smaller banners at the top. So I'll go back to my banners and I'm going to put the learning targets, control C to copy, and then control B to paste and it won't be linked to the rest of the slides. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my class photo here. Copy and paste. Easy peasy. All right. So now I need to create my buttons and I've shared these with you as well. And again, these have been resized to be the but the size of the buttons. I think they're a 350 by 350 pixel. Um, the way you resize is under file. Oops. Well, maybe under file. <laughs> I'm struggling. The page setup. And I've already done that for you. I've already resized them. So you can just make a, a copy of the presentation and you can go ahead and start creating from in here and we're going to go ahead and create one together and i think i want to create an i ready button so i'm just going to put i ready in my search and choose my images there they are looking for that 
There it is. That's what I want. I want that I ready square. So all I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to copy that image and then head right back over to my buttons. I'm going to paste that image in there. And now I want to make that circle around it. I want to um, do that by going to crop. And when you hit it, it gives you that option for shapes if you go to that arrow right beside it. And I'm just going to do a circular crop. Now, if I stop there, it doesn't show the outline. So that blue line is not going to show up. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go up here to the weight of the border, give it about a four point, And that way, now it looks like a button. So let's go ahead and start to insert our buttons in here. So it's the exact same thing. You're going to copy and paste all of your buttons into that bottom. And you can do anything. I tried to make a variety of buttons so that you could see what it might look like. You, know, you want a star fall, star fall button. That way they just click that button when they're in their Schoology and it will take them right to that uh, star fall website. So that's a nice thing to do. And then I also you created some buttons using Bitmoji. So you could do that as well. You can create your own background and then crop it um, into that circular and paste. Just takes a minute. So many tabs open, I have to remember which one I'm using, right? I need one more button. I think maybe I'll use that uh, eSpark guy here. So we're going to be doing some eSpark if you're teaching math, right? And we can link that right to it as well. And I'm going to show you how to make your buttons interactive. So right now, they're not linked to anything. It won't take them to a website. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that um, iReady symbol. We're going to go up here to our link. I already have that site open. I can just copy that URL for the login page, copy it, and then just paste it right in there and hit apply. And now that button is a live link to iReady. And when you put it in, right now you have to go down here to click it. When you put it in your Schoology, um, it'll just be a live link. They'll just be able to push that button. They won't even have to drop down to click that link. All right, so now, Let's work on getting your new banners and buttons into Schoology. And I'm going to shrink this down for a second just so I can see it all. It makes it a little easier. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this whole... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to take away those lines. So I, I highlighted the whole table. And I'm going to take away those lines so that there's no border. That's what I want to do first. Now I took away the border, so I'm going to click off of it so you can see. Now there's no border lines. All right. So now I'm going to highlight that whole table again and copy it because we're getting ready to put it into Schoology. No, not that. <laughs> there we go. So I highlight the whole thing, Control-C to copy, then I head right over to Schoology. And go to my sandbox course. And how I'm going to get it so that it comes up automatically when your students go into your course is use that updates again. And then right up here in that update, all I'm going to do is paste that back in there. So control V to paste it. And remember, if you want your students to be able to see it, you have to go to that little speech bubble and click the bell so that when you post it, it'll be the opening page. So here's our courses. When they open up that sandbox course now, it's automatically going to have your welcome on there. And you can um, customize it so that it is very personalized to your class. And whatever buttons you want to have linked, you might want a Kahoot button that goes right to that Kahoot it so they can enter their um, six digit code to play games. Um, and that's completely up to you. It's totally customizable.